Welcome back to Doctor in the House. There are many benefits to eating whole grains. Nutritionist Suma joins us now to give us the whole grain truth. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. You've got a lovely, lovely Thank you. display here. This is actually great. What is a whole grain? What constitutes a well, whole grain? Well, a whole grain means that you're getting all three parts of the grain. So you're getting the outside bran layer, which is full of fiber. In fact, all of the fiber is in the bran. It also contains protein and some B vitamins. The the whole grain also contains the middle part or the middle layer, which is called the endosperm, and that's the starchy carbohydrate part. Mm -hmm. And the whole grain also contains that small inner layer called the germ, and that's full of vitamins. Like wheat germ. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay, that's I've full heard of that vitamin one before. E and antioxidants and B vitamins. There's so, so much in it, right? There's so much in it. Let's go through all of them, and you can tell me how I would eat them okay. in a day. Okay. So let's start with barley. This is actually pot barley, and you know, barley soup, barley risotto, that sort of thing. So cooking it doesn't take away from its nutrients. Not at all. Okay. No. Now my point. Here is to buy pot barley, not the pearl barley. If you see pot versus pearl, you'll notice that the pearl barley is a little bit more polished and sort of white looking, mm -hmm. whereas the pot barley is a little bit more brownish, and so it's more of the whole, you get more of the whole grain in the pot barley. Okay. This is bulgur, it's made from wheat or wheat berries, tabbouleh. Oh, Great recipe bulgur. that uses okay. bulgur, right? And I, I just cook it up, it's easy to cook because it's so fine, it's finely ground. Mm -hmm. This is cornmeal. Now you can't tell me cornbread is good for me because otherwise I'd be eating it every day. <laughs> Depends what you put in it. Okay. Polenta, yeah. popcorn, yeah. corn chips that have been baked are all whole grains. So we're eating whole grains maybe even without even knowing it. That's a good. And thing. getting some benefits too. Definitely. Oats, mm -hmm. rolled oats, oat cereal. You know, um, in, use it in your baking. But you want the real oats. You don't want the processed oats, right? The real oats will have more. Yeah. Um, like the they call it the Irish oats or something. Well, the Scottish oats. Scottish. Those oats. are okay, okay, but it's the it's the you know the more convenient oats that are more processed and perhaps not as good for us as the wholesome ones. Okay. Let's rice. keep going. Oh. Brown rice, white brown rice and wild rice has four times more fiber than uh, than white rice and two and a half to three times more iron than white rice. So if you love rice, try switching it or mix it up a bit. Have half brown, half white so that you get the benefits right. now of you the said whole this is grain. rice pasta? Brown rice pasta. Fantastic. Brown rice crackers. I mean we're seeing more of the whole grains everywhere in the foods that we love to eat. Yeah, are these any good? Give it a try. I'm a little hungry. Yeah. All right. What do we have here? Well, these are the ancient grains. Kamut, uh, millet, quinoa, and salba is one mm. of the hottest grains around. Kamut has sort of a chewy, buttery flavor. Uh, millet has a nutty, crunchy flavor. You can use it like brown rice. Quinoa, if you, if you smell it, it actually smells like spinach. It belongs to the spinach family. It smells kind of bitter. It does, yeah. And it has sort of a bitter taste. I'm not crazy about it, but some people are, and it's <laughs> another whole grain. Salba is a seed. It's one of the hottest superfoods That's around. That's what you were saying right now. Lots of omega-3s, Chock full of omega-3, even wow. more omega-3 than flax. Huh. And you use it just like flax. Sprinkle it over your yogurt, cereal, that That's the one you try to hide. But what about these other ones? Are they just, are they, can well, you, you know, you can, you can find them in bread. And okay. so I brought in some spelt bread, which is a different type of a whole grain. Mm -hmm. um, this, this bread has wild rice. These are the ancient grain crackers that use these ingredients, and that's whole whole wheat bread, whole wheat crackers, whole wheat pasta, whole grains are everywhere. Do they help with weight control? You know what, it actually does help with weight control. Yeah. We're not really sure why, it could be the fiber, because when we eat foods with fiber we feel full, and that prevents us from overeating and mindless eating. Also, eating whole grains may release certain gut hormones, like CCK, and that tells our brains that, hey, we're full, stop eating. So. A lot of good benefits to whole grain, in addition to lowering your risk of heart disease and different types of cancer. You amaze me. You have so much great advice about food. Thank you so much. And those are delicious. Oh, great. The I'm brown glad rice you crackers. Like them. Holy Moses. <laughs> Don't go away. Dr. Dave's going to answer your medical questions right after the break. But first, a word from medical correspondent Sarah.